That's a G, uh, 66 GDO Pontiac on a 542 Defense Cooked Box Chevy with a 300 shot of nitrous on. Yeah, we're just starting to, we've just turned the nitrous on, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Well, Pontiac once boasted, we build excitement, but the excitement is gone with the recent announcement that General Motors is killing off the 83-year-old brand as part of its survival strategy. Sad, but let's be honest, they haven't built Pontiacs like this in a long time. If you've got an old Pontiac, hang on to it. Recently, we trekked out to Pukekohe Park Raceway as it played host to the final rounds of both the production and the Northern Muscle Car Series. And there were two cars that caught our eye and we just had to show them to you. A rear XC Falcon and an absolutely stunning HQ350 Monaro. We got a um, 350, which is part of the class rules. It's been obviously tweaked up a bit. We got it built in the States because we couldn't get one here that we liked. So we've had it built over there and um, this is our second run with it. So. We're still, still learning. They're a good bunch of guys. We're out there to have fun. Um, obviously our cars, we love them. And you know, the last thing we want to do is bend them. We don't want to be the stock cars. So we have a lot of fun and, um, and, and rubbing guards. And yeah, so at the end of the day, you have a beer and a barbie and it's, you know, your mates again. People's grandfathers would have been driving around and, and a lot of people say that, you know. My dad had one of those. And, you know, grandfather had one of those, and, and it's, it's amazing the amount of them that it was out there. I mean, the suspension under that car is, is pretty well standard, short of the springs and the shocks and the brakes. Uh, all the um, mounting uh, positions and all that are as per. Yeah, we're putting out 730 horsepower, so qualifying the last weekend I did a 1.5. I'd like to think we'll get down to a 1.3 when we get, you know, get back a bit of seat time back, yeah. Is anyone that you're particularly, you know, want to beat every time you come here? Yeah, the one in front of you. <laughs> it always is. It's the one in front of you. You try and chase him down. Yeah. And that's what makes, that's what puts the competition into it in my book, you know. Yeah. Um, the points, I mean, we're playing for a, we're racing for a chocolate fish, for God's sake. I mean, uh, it's just a matter of get out there and just enjoy yourself and, and as I say, chase that one in front of you. This is a genuine 350 GDS. Yeah. So, um, which is, there's not a hell of a lot of them out there now. And it was built up by a guy uh, in Pukekohe originally, by a guy by the name of Paul Spicer. And it's never really been changed since, other than you know, engine, gearbox and diff. So uh, he, he did an absolutely brilliant job of rebuilding it. He made a beautiful job. You know, we want to go as fast as we can, but in doing that, we are not going to bastardise it or chop it in any way. The floor pan is a standard floor, standard floor pan, and that's the way it's going to stay. That's one tough piece of Aussie muscle. And those of you with a really keen eye will see he's actually beating Lightning McQueen. There seems to be a steady stream of really awesome machinery coming out in muscle car racing. And if you'd like to learn more about it, go to their website. Subscribe to NZV8 Magazine and be in to win a Formula Challenge Ultimate Driving Experience at Taupo worth $495. The winner gets to drive both a Holden V8 and a single-seater race car. To find out more, just text V8 to 244 and we'll send you the lowdown. Now here's one of the more famous moments from Bathurst history. It's Dick Johnson taking on the trees in what probably became the world's most famous XE Falcon. And speaking of special XEs, we recently caught up with this example at Pukekohe Park. My name's Sandra Oldham and I'm from Tirarangi. I'm a Westie. It's always been a Ford family. It's a Ford Fairmont and it's an ESP, which is a European sports pack, it's a 1983. So there's actually not many of them in New Zealand, they're um, quite hard to find, but in Australia you do get a few more, so hence trying to find parts here is pretty hard. Well, it used to be my brother's, <laughs> so I brought it off him and that came about of a conversation where one day I just said to him, well, hey, you can't race two cars at once, so give me a go, and he's like, OK, and I was like, oh, really? And then um, stemmed from there and then, yeah, brought it off them. So, and we've um, modified it quite a bit to what it was. It was a um, automatic 302 and we've put a four speed in and put a 351 in it. We've um, stroked the motor a little bit, you know, sort of got as much as we can out of it. And um, brakes are pretty much standard brakes and standard tyres. So, but once you get in the seat, the you know, competitive nature kicks in and you're away. Oh, it's just the, the noise and the feel and the, yeah, the power. Yeah, love it. And I mean, guess growing up around it, you know, it sort of becomes your blood. I don't think it's anything we'll ever part with. If it comes a day, we'll just um, park it up somewhere. Yeah, being an original, you sort of like to hold on to it. She's um, an awesome car to race. And it's awesome to see you out there racing your car the way it was intended. 
You'll love the new edition of NZ V8 magazine. Featuring Grant Everly's SS Camaro, Allsop Racing's Willie's Coupe, Central Muscle Cars from Pukekohe, Shelby Super Snake, and more. Brought to you by Smith's Group, suppliers of leading automotive brands. And also thanks to GT Radials. As you're watching this, I'm on my way to Germany to compete in a 24-hour race at the famous Nürburgring. But don't worry, it is in a V8. And by the way, the answer to that question was the 8.1-litre Cadillac engine.